Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today Mojang released a new snapshot, 14W20A, and really not much changed with this snapshot, so this will be a quick video. But there are a couple new things. One is the uh, slash title command. You can see I'm using it here, dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain, kind of like Majora's Mask style. Uh, so the sl slash title um, is a new command, and kind of shows like it has a lot of syntax, but really it's a very simple command. Um, so here I'm showing the player a title, uh, this is showing the nearest player a title, dawn of the first day, and then here I'm showing the subtitle, 72 hours remain. Um, so it uses the .json, J-S-O-N, format to display the text, which means that you can color the text, you can uh, display scoreboard values in the text. Um, here I'm setting the time to zero so that it'll look like dawn of the first day. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's other things you can do with this because you can use <coughs> use those JSON configurability options. So here you can set the color, and um, and this is a new thing with JSON. You can use selectors now in your uh, .json uh, text. So this is like with Telra. Uh, so here I'm displaying a random player is your target for this round. Of course, I'm the only player online, so it's going to display me every time. But uh, but this is kind of cool because you can you know tell players uh, different different things. So I used at R, which is a random player. You could use at A, use at A score, uh, I don't know, you could, <laughs> what's something else? Uh, M equals zero for just everyone in survival mode. So you can display that stuff all as part of the title or subtitle. Uh, you can also configure how long the subtitles and titles uh, appear for. So um, the t times command accepts three parameters. There's the fade in time, the how long it stays around time, and the fade out time. And these are in game ticks, which are 1 20th of a second. So here this is going to be uh, uh, five, t it's just going to appear instantly, stick around for five game ticks, and then disappear instantly, so that'll be a quarter of a second. And so you can display something very quickly, like that. Uh, this says the word word of the day is quibble, <laughs> but yeah. So there's um, there's quite a bit of configurability there, and I think it'll be definitely very useful as a UI element because really previously there was no good way to display stuff to the player and make sure they really saw it. Um, you can also use title uh, at a reset to reset the amount of time that stuff stays around for. So if I if I press this one, it's gonna show things quickly, then if I press this one it's going to show it quickly again. So title at a reset resets my my timing so that it'll, it'll stick around for longer. The other thing I want to show you from this snapshot is just a really simple change. Uh, mesa biomes and deserts and stuff can now actually have caves spawn in them. This was not possible before because when caves were generated they wouldn't cut through stuff like stained clay or sand. So now you have uh, these funny looking caves that are layered as you go down and um, they look pretty cool actually. Uh, but you know once you get down far enough it's just going to be stone but uh, but yeah so now the, now the mesa bombs are going to have a little bit more stuff in them and so that's I think that's pretty cool because previously it was kind of hard to find caves if you were in say a desert. Um, so yeah that's just a small change. Uh, I guess there's one more thing I want to mention. Let's get out of here. World Borders have received a slight update. Um, so let's World Border Center tilde tilde. So um, if I create a small World Border, say five, uh, whoops, set five. Uh, previously, you couldn't move around if you set this and you were on the outside, which is bad because you you know you're taking damage. So if I go to game one zero here, I'm taking damage. So I can I can now get myself inside the inside the world border, um, and I won't be able to leave again. But if if, uh, if the world border let's see world border set um, let's say twenty, I come out here now. Let's say I set it to five over the next five seconds. You know it, may, it could shrink past me, and then I start taking damage, and uh, and so now there's actually a way to deal with that. So that's I think that's a good change. Um, but yeah, I guess that's that's all that I really have to show you. Again, quick video for the snapshot. That's about it. Thanks for watching.